if we have a corner cabinet with only one or two small cabinets sitting on the side of it, then uh, there's a risk that the long corner cabinet will be soft on the side. As you can see here, I can easily move it back and forth. And that is simply because there is no support in that direction built into the corner cabinet. And uh, why is that important? Well, it's important if you have a countertop that is not attached really firmly to the base cabinets. And then you load a lot of stuff on your Lazy Susan, which will add some force to the sidewall of that high uh, of that long cabinet. And that can actually make the uh, filler come loose that is joining those two cabinets. And we really don't want that to happen. So in this video, I will show you how to avoid that by adding extra support to the long corner cabinet. The only material needed for creating the support of the corner cabinet is that flat metal rail that is a leftover from the sink cabinet because the sink cabinet we're using the reinforced rail. So pick that up and put it on top of your corner cabinet as shown in the picture so it's overlapping a few inches in the back and then you make a line right where I have my finger. That means where the inside of the wall is lining up with the metal bar. Next, you pick up your hacksaw and you turn the flat rail around and you cut as I have shown here. The first cut is exactly where you have the line and the next cut is about 3 8 or so half an inch uh, in the direction of that end that points towards the back of the cabinet. When you're done cutting, you take a small pair of pliers or your, a wire cutter or something and then you basically bend those small ears sitting there in the middle until they uh, break off and you have uh, removed them completely. The next step is to bend your bar into a 90 degree angle and it will bend exactly where you have made that small cut. Before we can mount the bracket to the corner cabinet, we need to drill an extra hole because there's only one hole at the end. So pick up your drill and make a hole of 3 16 or a quarter of an inch or whatever you can find on the short end of the bracket. That's the one that's being attached to the cabinet. And now you are ready to mount your bracket to the corner cabinet and you put it in a position uh, similar to the one shown in the picture. And then you add two screws on the vertical part of the bracket and you add one screw up under at the back. And what you want to do, which I haven't shown in the picture here, is you want to, before you put that screw at the back, you want to put a clamp on it. And then you want to put your uh, spirit level on the side of the cabinet, just to make sure that your cabinet uh, sidewall is absolutely vertical. And that's it. Then your cabinet uh, is uh, fully supported and it will not wiggle sideways anymore. <laughs>